the voice reveal. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. Obviously, as you can tell from my voice, I am actually a girl. Some people already knew this, some people didn't, so if you didn't know, ta-da. Let's not dilly-dally any further, and let's begin the Q&A. I totally wish that I was able to buy Demonica. I think a lot of people regret not getting her at the time. A bunch of haunters have been telling me that she's going to be available this year, but I still haven't seen her on the website, so if you guys could help me figure out how to get her this year, that would mean a lot to me. And then next animatronic I'm planning to purchase, I really want Heckles. I think a lot of people know that he's the top one I want this year. I don't know what it is about him. I've never actually really wanted a clown as much as him. to go with Mr. Salty. I know some people really like him, but I just can't get myself to like him. I feel like it's just really uncomfortable, and I'm not really sure where Spirit was going with this. Hey, have you seen my little pal? He was around here somewhere. Boogie boogie! I've got you! 2015 or 2014 just because that's when animatronics were really disturbing and there were a lot of themes and I feel like it was just going really well for them. I'm gonna go with Heckles just because I really like him and I feel like he's nice because even though he's a clown, he's a very unique clown, I think he's very realistic. I don't know if he counts, but I'm just gonna say Fogging Gargoyle because that's literally the only one that I'm not that excited about just because the rest of them are actually really good and I feel like even the ones that I'm not a huge fan of are still really good quality. Animatronics that belong in a castle because there really are not a lot that could fit in a castle. Well, it depends on the video. For example, the easiest videos to create are videos like demos, in-store tours, reviews, simply because those are all things that I've filmed with my phone that I can just easily go in the editor and edit. Videos that take the longest and are the hardest to put together are videos such as all blank animatronics and animatronics that belong in blank because I have to go on the Spirit Halloween wiki and look through every single animatronic on the list of whatever I'm looking for and then I have to write it down in notes and then I have to go back and screen record everything. Then I have to actually go in and edit it. I try to get them out as quick as possible, but it takes a lot of research, especially for ones like animatronics that belong in a funeral home because because I really want to make sure I'm not depicting the theme incorrectly. I really want to make sure my videos are accurate. The first time I ever went to Spirit was in 2015, and it was my favorite theme, Spirit Station Z, but unfortunately, I was too scared at the time. I did miss out seeing Spirit Station Z in real life, but technically the first time I attended and actually like went in without being scared was in 2018, and it had Spirit Igloo Farms, which is one of my other favorite themes, so at least I was able to experience that one. When I entered double digits, I feel like that's when I started getting more comfortable in liking creepy things because I started liking goosebumps and things like that. I think it's just a mix of the decorations and the feeling of Halloween mixed with the costumes and the amazing community behind Halloween. I think that's just what makes me love it and that's what made me get into it. And my thoughts on Michael Myers, well, he's awesome. I have a bunch of stuff of him in my room. He's really cool. I mean, who doesn't like Michael Myers? Almost all of them work. A lot of my newer ones actually are the ones that don't work for some reason. As for old ones, yes, they all work. My oldest one is Gash's Zombie, Crawling Kathy, or Zombie Swim Girl. I all got those around the same years as each other and they are quite old, but they are all working perfectly. Well, Gash's Zombie does work, but unfortunately the remote was given away. I actually told this story to someone in a live stream once. Your grandpa actually gave the solder remote away to a trick-or-treater, what? I play a lot of horror games, I just don't make videos of it because this is a Spirit Halloween and animatronic based channel, but you know, I'm always up for trying to play it. I've never played either of those things. He's not my favorite clown, obviously, but he is still a classic. There's no harm in having him and setting him up. I think it's cool how tall he is and I don't know, I really like his story and I think it's cool how it matches Hug's story. 
I think a bunch should come back. I want pretty much every zombie animatronic to come back. I just think it would be really cool if we had a whole year where it was just returning animatronics. I think then everybody could get what they want. Today, it's quite nice. It's a bit cloudy. I don't have a favorite that's like picking between my children. That's not fair. I agree. I think that's the best one. I like his little hat. I feel like he looks very distinguished compared to the original, but the original's not bad either. This is a really good question. It would be really cool if we could get a werewolf one. We don't have a lot of werewolves, and I feel like a werewolf clawing at the ground would actually make a lot of sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Spirit Halloween, but Morris has a lot of similar animatronics. Top 10 animatronics, well, I have a lot more favorites than this, but I'll just include some ones that immediately came to mind, and this isn't in any order from least to most, it's just a random order. I like Crawling Kathy, Grave Grabbing Corpse, Demonica Miss Mercy, Compost Corpse, Zombie Swing Girl, Experimental Eddie, Gruesome Granny, The Hauntress, Tortured Torso, and obviously way more than this. add spirit halloween animatronics in my videos because that's what i'm most knowledgeable about i don't really know a lot about lowe's and home depot and party city animatronics i actually have a couple of animatronics from those places i really like the lore and stories behind spirit and i'm on the wait list for the big 12 foot skeleton my neighbor has two and i don't even have one and i'm very mad about it i cannot believe i can say i have any fans at all so this means a lot to me just having one fan so to have 2000 imagine how i feel give a quick shout out to conjure maven who is a very underrated halloween channel that you should really go check out conjure maven's here oh i didn't even realize oh hello conjure maven conjure maven great youtuber love their videos and whatnot hello conjure maven I think it's all jump scare animatronics because obviously there's a lot of them. I'm very glad that that video blew up because that's a video that took me an excruciatingly long time to edit and create. I actually haven't really drawn a lot of animatronics as much as I want to. I used to draw them all the time and I am planning in honor of October to start drawing them more once I'm finished drawing you guys' ideas. My favorite type of monster will always be zombies and vampires. I really hope you do become a manufacturer one day because I think you would do a really good job. I didn't think this is something that anybody actually wanted me to do. I actually have done a bunch of animations before, so this wouldn't be hard to do either. There's plenty of animatronics that have really good backstories that I could use with certain songs, so if you guys do think I should start making animations from time to time, let me know. None of them. I don't know how in the world in the Spirit Halloween movie they had the guts to burn Nightcrawler. I have to go with spirit, but I really want the skeleton, as I mentioned, and they have some really cool things. Yes, she was, alongside Gash's zombie. What's your favorite scary movie? I have not actually watched any horror movies at all yet. I'll get back to you guys once I watch more horror movies. I'll always love Sitting Scarecrow, the original one, the best. I own him, and I just feel like he's a classic. You don't suspect it to do anything. 
I really like both ghost faces. I think they're really cool and they just look really movie accurate. And then I also love this Michael Myers and because of how human like he looks. I don't know. I don't really have a least favorite because I feel like they can always be done dirty or done well. And it just really depends on the company and the animatronic. I like Bowser, I like King Boo, I like Rosalina, and like Lala Luigi. I don't like Wario though. Mario Tennis Aces or Super Mario Party, just because those are the ones I've spent the most hours on. A couple of years recently in Spirit. Yeah, last year wasn't that bad, but the year before that was pretty bad with the shipping problem. This year they have done way better than their previous years. So I'm hoping from next year and a few years they're gonna keep up the same kind of work. I feel like if they keep responding to people's comments and listening to the fans. If we're talking one that's life-size, then I'd go with maybe Lurching Zombie. I don't have him unfortunately, but he's one of the top ones I really wanna get. Shorty's really cool. I've actually never watched Killer Clowns. Apparently a lot of people really like it. I had not heard about the movie until Shorty came out. I'm a bit uneducated about Shorty and Killer Clowns, but I have looked into it more since then. I like to watch a bunch of movies. I have like too many Halloween movies. Yes, I actually have, and I will insert a video in the house that I was living in that has a lot of ghosts and paranormal activity. looks like that is all of the questions. I really appreciate every single view, every single like, every single subscriber from 1 to 2 to 3 to 2,000. It means literally everything to me from the bottom of my undead zombie heart. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!